Welcome to Heat Check. We're going to look at the top 10 highest selling vintage denim items over the last two weeks on eBay. This video is sponsored by WeBuyOldJeans.com. Now, before we get into the list, I do want to invite you to join me at the Forgottonia Vintage Flea on April 27th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Galesburg, Illinois. So if you're in the Midwest and you love vintage, come check us out. I'm going to have a booth. I'm going to have a bunch of like really steals and deal vintage stuff. So come on by. There's going to be a lot of great vendors. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is a first time event. Uh, so we're excited to see what we can make happen and support the culture and support other vendors and give you some deals on some vintage steel. So come on out. Forgot Tony Vintage Fleet on April 27th. Coming in at number 10, we have this Vintage Levi's Big E Red Line Selvage Denim Jeans. Uh, size 26 by 30. Kind of a small size, uh, honestly. But let's take a look at the details here. A beautiful pair. So far, we have the hidden rivets. And we have all that, you know, lovely lemony uh, thread with, I think, the single fell on the top. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, obviously, we have the selvage. Uh, big E. Look like we have a jerky patch here. So we're looking at the 1950s. Uh, this seems like a pretty good uh, deal. Uh, it, it's a little bit iffy just because of the size. And some of the, there are a few condition uh, issues here. We have a patch and some other little stuff but not too bad um uh, i think definitely got a decent deal especially if this fits your size but um because you don't often see these uh ta the jerky tags we talk about this a lot the jerky tags still attached uh but this one uh sold for fifteen hundred dollars at number nine we have another levi's 501 x here this one in a better size well actually it was originally in a better size it's actually not in a better size 26 by tw uh, 27 by 26 uh, 1950s it's got some wear we can definitely see that uh, throughout uh, there's some holes there holes there uh, yep 1950s looks like uh, no selvage we have the uh, hidden rivets um, I'm not yeah there's some wear down there in the crotch area which is uh, kind of rough but you gotta have to patch that one up um, every garment guaranteed yep so we're looking pretty good here uh, beautiful pair as well uh, did not go for as much as uh, they wanted it went for sixteen hundred dollars then next up we have this 1950s super payday sanfordized chore coat i uh, love it when other brands make the list this one looks like it's in great condition there's the super payday little patch there uh, beautiful uh, let's take a look the buttons here are extra nice absolutely love these buttons uh, buttons just seem to be better in the past uh, looks like again good condition all around a few spots some dirt from over time it's a chore coat after all uh, but generally in pretty good condition uh, all things considered considering its age and such so I uh, love that they gave us lots of good photos uh, this is a good way to make a listing worth it after 21 bids this one sold for $1,724 Next up, you're gonna probably start noticing a theme because the 501 X is in full effect here today, uh, bringing us some huge sales. So uh, this is just one of them. We have the 1950s 501 X Big E Selvage Denim. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, incredibly beautiful condition here. Uh, we got the Big E right here, hidden rivets as well. Yeah, all things considered, this thing is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, let's take a look at some of the details. Yeah, it looks like it's measuring a little bit small, 28 by 28. So, yeah, again, this is going to suffer a little bit because of the size. The sizes are going to make a huge difference, uh, surprisingly, a huge difference in some of these cases. Now, uh, let's see that, yeah, it was originally tagged 31, but closer to 29. Yeah, of course. Uh, probably closer to 28. Uh, Either way, again, we've seen these a million times, but uh, they still are going for big numbers. Uh, this one sold for $2,700. So if you think you have a pair of jeans that might end up on this list, we recommend you check out webuyoldjeans.com. These guys are the best in the business. They can give you appraisals. They can help you with research, or they can make an offer on your jeans. They offer reasonable prices and great customer service. So we highly recommend our friends over at WeBuyOldJeans.com. Next up, we have the 1940s. 
Looks like we have some World War II era 501 XXX's and in good condition, uh, all things considered. Obviously somewhere we have that V-stitch. We do not have the interior watch pocket. Uh, there's that. There's the uh, hidden rivets as well. Uh, super cool piece right here. Uh, I'm assuming we're looking like roughly uh, World War II era, um, considering the details here. Um, I actually know the buyer of this particular garment. Uh, so yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, really cool to see these. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, I actually was part of buying one of these pairs. Uh, from the 1940s dead stock you can find that video on our channel uh, it was quite the adventure so these actually did went uh, they went for exactly what they were asked uh, asking for three thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars and again please don't get too bored with this but we have another 501 double x and it's not going to be the last for whatever reason everybody's trying to get their hands on these and uh, there are some incredible pieces on this list here we have the uh let's see 32 by 27 i'm assuming that is the shrunk uh size yeah yeah measure 32 which is pretty good which uh, definitely lends towards its value here uh this thing looks i mean it's not quite dead stock it's obviously i think been shrunk down through washing but only a handful of washes. We're definitely looking at a 50s pair here, I'm assuming. Uh, probably late 50s. Um, uh, or maybe even early 60s. Uh, but still a beautiful, absolutely beautiful pair here. Um, in incredible condition. Uh, this one is sold for $3,800, but this uh, seller is not done yet. Right up next, we have another pair. And at first, I thought these were just two. Uh, uh, I thought this was just like a double listing or something like that, or it got sold and then rebought. But it, I do not believe so. I believe these are two different pairs. Um, but they measure the same thing, same way. Uh, these are beautiful. Uh, obviously, yeah, they they're a little bit different uh, and in excellent condition. This one does not have the patch. Uh, notice that. Uh, the other one did uh, so uh, curiously enough this one actually went for more than the other one so uh, that is an interesting little tidbit there uh, but again in really good condition this one sold for three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars next up we have this united states navy 1940 smock jacket raw denim uh, this is actually going to be an interesting one because uh this one <laughs> uh is probably the most valuable piece on this list today. Uh, let's take a look at the details. Looks like it's an incredible, con like absolutely beautiful condition. Some some minor wear. Uh, this is uh, the navy denim stuff, like particularly from the 40s, is becoming incredibly, incredibly coveted. And this condition is absolutely outstanding. Um, there is some damage here, but you know what are you gonna say for something this old? Um, Interestingly enough, this thing did sell for $4,000, but that is not the entire story. Uh, you can see if you go and check this guy's feedback. Um, let's go look at his feedback. He's got negative one feedback, so there's literally zero positive feedback. Do not buy from the seller. They will take your money. If someone offers them more money for the item, they will slowly cancel your purchase. Slowly. I don't know about slowly. While eBay holds your money for several days, don't do it. Probably did it quite quickly. Um, yeah, so what it turns out is sounds like this is what happens because uh, they severely underpriced this uh, garment. It got bought immediately at four thousand um, dollars, and then the seller got another offer from somebody uh, who saw the listing get sold and offered them more money off-site, and they took it, canceled on the guy. This guy's account will probably not exist for very much longer, is my guess. Uh, being that it's such a, a new account and having this kind of dispute uh, early on in their uh, their the life of their eBay account, it's probably not good news. Uh, but they probably got plenty of money um, off-site, so uh, you know it is going to be what it is. So uh, congratulations, I suppose. Uh, maybe you're not going to end up selling much more on eBay, but you found one of the coolest pieces of the week that's for sure then we have another five then at number two we have another 501 you sensing a pattern here 
Uh, it felt like last year, probably the last six months of the year, all we saw were, you know, type twos and type ones, and we don't even have a single one of them on the list today. Um, this we have a 501 Big E in pretty good condition. There is clearly some wear, so uh, this feels a bit of a run up to me. Uh, it doesn't seem like, I mean, it's not a crazy uh, in terms of condition uh, price we paid, but the difference here is that these are like size 35, 34, 35, which is a really, you know, uh, desired condition uh, size and hard to come by. Uh, so I'm not going to bore you anymore with how, uh, what these 501s look like, because you guys have seen these a million times. But just know that after 45 bids, lots of bids, uh, this one sold for $4,227.77. Then at number one this week, we have the vintage Levi's 501 XXXs. We have the uh, Del uh, World War II era. And it says special flannel pockets. Let's take a look. Obviously pretty beat up here, but we have those donut buttons from the World War II era. That's what we sort of expect to see on something from this. Uh, let's take a look. Very well beat up. It looks like there's at least a sliver of the leather patch on the backside. There are those World War II buttons. And the donut uh, L'Oreal uh, buttons. Uh, here are the pockets they were talking about. Uh, so in World War II, due to uh, 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 material rationing, and they used different uh, types of cloth for, uh, particularly for like pockets and stuff. So you can see all kinds of different colors and um, materials used for pockets during this era. And this one uh, is definitely rare because I don't think uh, I've ever I've never seen I've seen some like green uh, pockets before. I've never seen this flannel. Uh, uh, color before so really interesting obviously if it's in better condition we're talking a lot lot more money but uh, either way an absolutely beautiful piece of Levi's and World War II history uh, it does measure <clears throat> actually not too bad uh, you know 30 30 at the waist it's not too bad at all um, and then down here is like uh, pretty short looks like they have been hemmed you can kind of tell that that's not the original hem right there so they have been taken in some uh, so with all those things considered, after 16 bids, the number one item this week on this week's heat check is this pair that sold for $5,000. So congratulations both buyer and seller on such a cool piece.